Data Stage Tip Interviewed Questions and Answers for Beginners IBM InfoSphere Data Stage is a leading ETL platform that integrates data across multiple enterprise systems. It leverages a high-performance parallel framework, available on-premises or in the cloud. The scalable platform provides extended metadata management and enterprise connectivity. It integrates heterogeneous data, including big data at rest, Hadoop-based, or big data in motion, stream-based, on both distributed and mainframe platforms. It supports IBM DB2Z and DB2 for ZOS, applies workload on business rules, and integrates real-time data in an easy-to-deploy platform. Source. IBM Official Doc What is Data Stage? Data Stage is ETL, Extract, Transform and Load tool that is part of the IBM Infosphere suite. It is a tool that is used for working with large data warehouses and data marts for creating and maintaining such a data repository. A data stage is basically a tool that is used to design, develop and execute various applications to film multiple tables in data warehouse or data marts. It is a program for Windows servers that extracts data from databases and change them into data warehouses. It has become an essential part of IBM WebSphere data integration suite. What is data partitioning? Data partitioning is an approach to parallelism that involves breaking the records into partitions, or subsets of records. Data partitioning generally provides linear increases in application performance. When you design a job, you select the type of data partitioning algorithm that you want to use, hash, range, modulus, and so on. Then, at runtime, InfoSphere Data Stage uses that selection for the number of degrees of parallelism that are specified dynamically at runtime through the configuration file. What are the important features of Data Stage? Data Stage is used to perform the ETL operations, extract, transform, load. It is the data integration component of IBM InfoSphere Information Server. It is a GUI-based tool that we just need to drag and drop the data stage objects and we can convert it to data stage code. It provides connectivity to multiple sources and multiple targets at the same time. It provides partitioning and parallel processing techniques which enable the data stage jobs to process a huge volume of data quite faster. It has enterprise-level connectivity. How a source file is populated we can populate the source file in many ways such as by creating a SQL query in Oracle, or by using row generator extract tool etc. What is usage analysis in data stage? If you want to whether a certain job is part of the sequence then you right click in the manager on the job and then choose the usage analysis. What is the command line function to import and export the DS jobs? To import the DS jobs, simport.x is used and to export the DS jobs, sexport.x is used. How? You can fix the truncated data error in data stage. The truncated data error can be fixed by using environment variable import underscore reject underscore string underscore field underscore overrun. Can you define merge? Merge means to join two or more tables. The two tables are joined on the basis of primary key columns in both the tables. What is the differentiate between data file and descriptor file? As the name implies, data files contain the data and the descriptor file contains the description information about the data and the data files. What is the difference between an operational data stage and the data warehouse? An operational data stage can be considered as a staging area for real-time analysis, for user processing. Thus, it is a temporary repository. Whereas the data warehouse is used for long-term data storage needs and has the complete data of the entire business. What is the difference between validated and compiled in the data stage? In data stage, validating a job means executing a job. While validating, the data stage engine verifies whether all the required properties are provided or not. In other case, while compiling a job, the data stage engine verifies that whether all the given properties are valid or not.
how to manage date conversion and data stage. We can use date conversion function for this purpose that is aconv, icon file name, existing date format, another date format. What are the different types of lookups in data stage? There are two types of lookups in data stage that is normal LKP and sparse LKP. In normal LKP, the data is saved in the memory first and then the lookup is performed. In sparse LKP, the data is directly saved in the database. Therefore, the sparse LKP is faster than the normal LKP. How a server job can be converted to a parallel job. We can convert a server job into a parallel job by using IPC stage and link collector. Can you explain repository tables in data stage? In data stage, the repository is another name for a data warehouse. It can be centralized as well as distributed. What are routines? Routines are basically collection of functions that is defined by DS manager. It can be called via transformer stage. There are three types of routines such as parallel routines, mainframe routines and server routines. How can you write parallel routines in data stage PX? We can write parallel routines in C or C++ compiler. Such routines are also created in DS Manager and can be called from transformer stage. What is the method of removing duplicates without the removed duplicate stage? Duplicates can be removed by using sort stage. We can use the option as allow duplicate equals false. What are the different options associated with its job command? X colon dollars job run and also the options like stop to stop the running job all projects to list the projects all jobs to list the jobs in project all stages to list the stages present in job links to list the links project info returns the project information host name and project name job info returns the job information job status job runtime and time etc Stage info, returns the stage name, stage type, input rows etc. Link info, it returns the link information. All params to list the parameters in a job. Param info, returns the parameters info. Log, add a text message to log. Logsum to display the log. Log tail to display with details like event underscore id, time, message. Long S to display the newest log id. Report, display report contains generated time, start time, elapsed time, status etc. Shabid, job bid information. What steps should be taken to improve data stage jobs? In order to improve performance of data stage jobs, we have to first establish the baselines. Secondly, we should not use only one flow for performance testing. Thirdly, we should work in increment. Then, we should evaluate data skews. Then we should isolate and solve the problems, one by one. After that, we should distribute the file systems to remove bottlenecks, if any. Also, we should not include RDBMS in start of testing phase. Last but not the least, we should understand and assess the available tuning knobs. What is difference between join? Merge and lookup stage. All the three concepts are different from each other in the way they use the memory storage, compare input requirements, and how they treat various records. Join and merge needs less memory as compared to the lookup stage. What is quality stage? Quality stage is also known as integrity stage. It assists in integrating different types of data from various sources. What is the sort merge collector? The sort merge collector reads records in an order based on one or more fields of the record. The fields used to define record order are called collecting keys. What is a directory structure operator? A directory structure operator groups records that have the same key field values into an output record. What is job control? Job control can be best performed by using job control language, JCL. This tool is used to execute multiple jobs simultaneously, without using any kind of loop. 
What is difference between symmetric multiprocessing and massive parallel processing? In symmetric multiprocessing, the hardware resources are shared by processor. The processor has one operating system and it communicates through shared memory. While in massive parallel processing, the processor accesses the hardware resources exclusively. This type of processing is also known as shared nothing, since nothing is shared in this. It is faster than the symmetric multiprocessing. What are the steps required to kill the job in data stage? To kill the job in data stage, we have to kill the respective processing ID. Can you explain Kafka connector? Kafka connector has been enhanced with the following new capabilities. Continuous mode, where incoming topic messages are consumed without stopping the connector. Transactions, where a number of Kafka messages is fetched within a single transaction. After record count is reached, an end of wave marker is sent to the output link. DLS connection to Kafka. Kerberos K tab locality is supported. What is a project in data stage? Whenever we launch the data stage client, we are asked to connect to a data stage project. A data stage project contains data stage jobs, built-in components and data stage designer or user-defined components. What are the features of data stage flow designer? Flow designer features. IBM data stage flow designer has many features to enhance your job building experience. We can use the palette to drag and drop connectors and operators onto the designer canvas. We can link nodes by selecting the previous node and dropping the next node, or drawing the link between the two nodes. We can edit stage properties on the sidebar, and make changes to your schema in column properties tab. We can zoom in and zoom out using your mouse, and leverage the mini map on the lower right of the window to focus on a particular part of the data stage job. This is very useful when you have a very large job with tens or hundreds of stages. How many types of hash files are there? There are two types of hash files in data stage that is static hash file and dynamic hash file. The static hash file is used when limited amount of data is to be loaded in the target database. The dynamic hash file is used when we don't know the amount of data from the source file. How do you import and export data into data stage? Here are the points how to import and export data into data stage. The import, export utility consists of these operators. The import operator, imports one or more data files into a single data set. The export operator, exports a data set to one or more data files. Can you explain tag battery structure operator? Tag battery structure operator converts tagged fields into output records whose schema supports all the possible fields of the tag cases. Can you explain Engineer and Information Server? The Engineer includes the logical group of components, the Infosphere Information Server Engine components, service agents, and so on, and the computer where those components are installed. The engine runs jobs and other tasks for product modules. What is meta stage? In data stage, meta stage is used to save metadata that is helpful for data lineage and data analysis. Have you have ever worked in Unix environment and why it is useful in data stage? Yes, I have worked in Unix environment. This knowledge is useful in data stage because sometimes one has to write Unix programs such as batch programs to invoke batch processing etc. What is the difference between Data Stage and Data Stage TX? Data Stage is a tool from ETL, Extract, Transform and Load, and Data Stage EX is a tool from EAI, Enterprise Application Integration. What is size of a transaction and an array means in a Data Stage? Transaction size means the number of row written before committing the records in a table. An array size means the number of rows written, read to or from the table respectively. How many types of views are there in a data stage director? There are three types of views in a data stage director that is job view, log view, and status view. Can you explain link buffering? Infosphere data stage automatically performs buffering on the links of certain stages. 
This is primarily intended to prevent deadlock situations arising, where one stage is unable to read its input because a previous stage in the job is blocked from reading to its output. Why we use surrogate key In data stage, we use surrogate key instead of unique key. Surrogate key is mostly used for retrieving data faster. It uses index to perform the retrieval operation. How rejected rows are managed in data stage In the data stage, the rejected rows are managed through constraints in transformer. We can either place the rejected rows in the properties of a transformer or we can create a temporary storage for rejected rows with the help of rejected command. Can you explain players in data stage? Players are the workhorse processes in a parallel job. There is generally a player for each operator on each node. Players are the children of section leaders, there is one section leader per processing node. Section leaders are started by the conductor process running on the conductor node. The conductor node is defined in the configuration file. What is the difference between ODBC and DRS stage? DRS stage is faster than the ODBC stage because it uses native databases for connectivity. What is a data stage job? The data stage job is simply a data stage code that we create as a developer. It contains different stages linked together to define data and process flow. Stages are nothing but the functionalities that get implemented. Why do we use link partitioner and link collector in data stage? In data stage, link partitioner is used to divide data into different parts through certain partitioning methods. Link collector is used to gather data from various partitions, segments to a single data and save it in the target table. What is the difference between ORABOG and BCP stages? ORABOG stage is used to load large amount of data in one target table of Oracle database. The BCP stage is used to load large amount of data in one target table of Microsoft SQL Server. What is DS Designer? The DS Designer is used to design work area and add various links to it. What is the row and Robin Collector? The row and row bone collector reads a record from the first input partition, then from the second partition, and so on. After reaching the last partition, the collector starts over. After reaching the final record in any partition, the collector skips that partition. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.